Ladies, do you remember I talked to you about wanting to deal with my hands? How many of you have been talking to me about what shall I do about my hands? What shall I do about my neck? And talk to me about Profilo. Well, this is the day, impromptu. I'm here with Dr. Wasim. Hello. Take the gloves off. It's gorgeous. I mean, really. Aren't we lucky just to be sharing the afternoon with him? Um, and Dr. Wasim, we've been talking about, I'm going to say Wasim, because Wasim, yes, Wasim yes. is his first name, but I like Wasim as my name. Okay. Um, so, um, and I've, you know, had lots of ladies who've talked to me and said, Trini, have you had Profilo? Which I haven't had yet. Right. And I've come to you today because I want you to tell me about it. I'm in Teresa Tame's, um, uh, what do we call it? Her emporium, not that. It's like a destination in Mockham Street where Dr. Wasim is now here how many days a week? Absolutely, with, with me and Rosemary Ferguson. And Rosemary yeah. Ferguson, who's this incredible nutritionist. So I'm having my day with Dr. Wasim. Yes. So, Okay, talk let's talk about Profilo, because it's like we have lots of questions about Profilo. And ladies, if you want to ask questions, we can too. But what we're going to do in this hour, because he's only got an hour, is I'm going to actually do my hands, crepey, look at the crepey hands, and I'm going to do my neck. So those of you lucky to watch... Um, it's going to be exciting. Okay, so what does it do? How does it work? So if you think about skin, we think about th three components. There's collagen, elastin, hyaluronic acid, and those are things that we kind of want to always keep high levels of. Um, and as, we, as time passes, um, hyaluronic acid levels tend to drop and our skin loses its plumpness. And hyaluronic acid, I'm just going to call it HA because it's yeah. a mouthful, draws water in it. it it's, what, it's like a sponge for water and it binds about 10,000 times its weight in water. They've, they've learned a bit of hyalur about hyaluronic acid because we talk about it as a skin ingredient. I'm, I'm, the jury's out with me on hyaluronic because I think some women afterwards look dry up. So I just want right. to discuss that bit with you Absolutely. because it's very interesting the level of hyaluronic that this profile has in it Absolutely. and how so, it might differ from an over the counter. Absolutely. I mean, so the skin is a barrier at the end of the day, and so whatever we put on it will penetrate to some degree. But the reason Profilo is so great is because we're actually getting a very high quantity of it and actually delivering it into the dermis. So whatever we put on topically, whether it's through needing, will make its way in. But we're getting very, very high doses down there. And you're talking 64 milligrams, which is a fair bit yeah. um, in there. If you think of your normal syringe of filler, um, which is hyaluronic acid as well, um, you're talking about between 15 to 23 milligrams, so it's substantially a lot more. Yeah. Um, the difference about what makes, what makes Profilo different to filler is, this is my analogy, you have to think of spaghetti. Okay. And spaghetti each of the spaghetti strands draws water. Yeah. Filler is overcooked, stuck spaghetti, so when it's injected, it stays in that form. Uh -huh. Profilo is loose spaghetti, so when you inject it, it just goes everywhere. So it just spreads through the dermis, still retaining water because the spaghetti are the sponges of water and draws water and plumps up the skin beautifully. Fantastic. I'm gonna, there's lots of questions already, yeah. so I think okay. it'd be good to answer them. First of all, no ring, somebody says. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. obviously, I thought that was lovely and funny. <laughs> but um, uh, it is an injectable, that's what we're talking here. And I know that you're gonna go into how, um, is, it to, is it not, somebody said, I was told it was not suitable for somebody in the, uh, their early 40s. I think this depends on skin texture, yeah, doesn't absolutely, it? absolutely, absolutely. And I think any, I think any, 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 um, sort of 30 plus, I mean, yeah, you obviously have to look at each person individually, but everyone can benefit from hyaluronic acid because we're always making it, but we're always breaking it down. And our, our level of production starts to slow down as time passes, but we're still breaking it down. Fantastic. How many sessions, because I know that we've, um, you know, this has been asked a lot, and um, Alice Hart Davis, who's a very sweet lady who does a treatments guide, yes. had had it done, and yes. she'd also said to me she thought it was great. But the first one, you maybe don't see stuff, and then you see it. So how many sessions do you need to have? So the protocol, as it is, is that you have two treatments, and they're 28 days apart. Um, I'd say about 80% of people will see a, a difference in the first treatment, and about the 20% the leftover will see it by the second, but they sort of piggyback the effect off each other. So whatever you see in the first one will be augmented by the second one. Um, so yeah, it's, it's two treatments and the results will last sort of up to six months. Okay, fantastic. Uh, what about allergies? Do, do, are some people allergic to it or not? Is it, so, do you think it has ingredients that are? So the, the difference, so remember we talked about different spaghetti. So the, the, the hyaluronic acid in the spaghetti, the filler, is chemically stuck together and that can sometimes cause problems for people because the ch chains are all chopped up and there's chemical bonds holding it together. With Profilo, it's, it's the most natural form it can be in, and it's been stabilized, so there's, there's no links in it. Okay, great. Um, but yeah, I mean, any, anything that's injected is, 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 is possible to be allergic to, but it's yeah. very, very, very Do you rare. do patch tests, or people could, do you generally go and have it, and they have it? Um, I mean, if someone is, 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 is very, very allergic, allergic okay. you might want to yeah, do that, but I, I don't tend to uh, as, a, as a rule of thumb. Okay. And how long do you think it lasts? How often would you have to go and repeat that procedure? So for my, for my, for my patients, I suggest they do it in sort of November, December, 
and then June, July. And okay. so their skin is just covered for six months. Great. And is it uh, animal based or um, not? Um, for it for is, ve- vegetarians and vegans? Um, it is, but it's bacteria fermented. It's, it's bacteria. made from bacteria. It's made from bacteria, yeah. but is it made from bacteria from animals? Um, I will need to check that. So that's good. I just, it's, it's an Absolutely. interesting to know because a vegan would obviously feel Absolutely. quite uncomfortable if Absolutely. it was. That's, that's a very good question. That's great. Oh, I know. I thought that was a great question yeah. too. Excellent. Lots of people find it red. hard to concentrate. <laughs> Does it hurt? Well, I'm going to try it now. And I know I don't need it, but like I didn't need to have my brows micro browed microbladed when I did those sort of six on one side with Suman, who was very good. Um, but I just feel I am your guinea pig and I'm going to try it. So I think we should just crack on and Absolutely. we can ask you questions as we do it. Absolutely. Can I ask your lovely assistant if she can continue filming us? Of course. Do you mind that and asking yeah. questions? Yeah. Are you comfortable to hold a camera? Absolutely. Okay, great. So there's lots of ladies here and they will ask okay. questions as we go. Okay. Is that okay? No, but no, you no, do no. need her to help you too. Not at all. No, you sure? No. My, my only question yeah. is I tend to put some numbing cream on because the Profiler is not formulated with anaesthetic in it. Fine, let's put, put, so put, put a bit of numbing on. Let's put numbing on. And then we can ask questions. Your neck and hands. Oh, what? We, we need to We're going to do neck. neck. Oh, you want to take off the top? Um, possibly. Should we, okay. should we go back on and on? Or do you want to? No, no, no. We'll continue. Okay. I mean, I can take my top okay. off. But you know what you can do is there's other questions coming up. So okay. Do you know how to do Instagram? A little bit. Uh, so okay. what you need to do is put it on Dr. I seem like that. Okay. Okay. And then yeah. here are the questions. Does yeah. it hurt? Okay. And then um, how long will the results last? We've done that. Okay. I had it and I'm 30. It was fantastic. My skin okay. looked firmer, more lifted, and I've slept like, looked like I slept them up. Okay. It's provided the brand name. So then as you've done a question, yeah. go up like that. Yeah. Okay. okay. Got it. The next one. And keep okay. it on Dr. Wasim okay. as we're talking. Okay. And keep on him and look at that. So it's okay. two things you're doing at once. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Do not move. And I'm taking off my yeah. top. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Top. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So, so the, the syringe comes as I was. I'm going to dive back to a bit about it. So it's made in Italy. It's by a company called H. A. Derma. Yeah. Um, the product is called Profilo, and um, the injection we do ten points in the face if we're doing the face. If we're treating the neck, it's also ten points in the hands uh, would, yeah. be, would be split. And once it's injected, it's injected into the middermis, and it kind of plumps up a bit, and you get these little blobs, whether it's in the neck or in the hand. Downtime would be probably until the next day. Um, yeah. The skin and neck's a bit thinner, so it tends to show a fair bit more than on the hands. Yeah. Um, and then we repeat the whole thing again 28 days later. Great. And I think exactly. that worked out perfect because Trini is now. I'm not ready. Should I, should I? So I feel like I'm going to go with my cup. It's like I had to put a top and I can't be naked in front of this man I just met. Um, yeah. Can I. Should I take off my makeup a bit? Yeah, so we're going to do. We're going to, what are we doing the neck and hands? Yeah. We, do you want to redo the face as well? Yeah, let's. Oh, let's, we're doing, let's we're doing just it all. Do it. Okay, great. I came to Australia next week. I'm going to be tired. Oh, yeah, it's going to be. It's also a great treatment for someone going to pain because we know the skin is so dehydrated after a flight. Well, I'm going to put on the numbing cream and then we'll come back to it. I'm now lying flat and I'm waiting to do the Philo. If any of you joined our live call, I'm with Dr. Wasim over there. He's coming over in a second. And I have had lots of questions from lots of um, followers about what's Profilo, have you done it? And I thought I would try it and my primary thing when I came into Dr. Asim was to try it on my hands and I'm at Teresa Tame's atelier um, and Dr. Asim's just come here as a resident and he specialises in all things injectable and Profilo is one of his specialties and Teresa had said to me, Trini, if you want to try it, this is the best person I recommend to try it. and I trust Teresa Tame, she's the one who does all my kind of the, la- the, the um, I did the ablative radio frequency laser and she did that with me a few weeks ago. Um, so that's what we're doing. So I put numbing cream on. Well, you put numbing cream on, and I put it on my hands. And um, here's Dr. Horsey. There we go. Hello. Hello. Welcome back. <laughs> Need we say more, really? I have, and we had a little funny comments yesterday from kind of, you know, menopause women slightly going, oh. Who's so, he? Um, I <laughs> that's what a lot exactly. of comments were saying. Really <laughs> But we, for those of you who are joining now, we're going to give a real quick synopsis of yeah. what Profilo is and what it does, but like in a supercharged, super thinged way. So, yes. Okay. So, Profilo. Profilo is made of hyaluronic acid. It's not Botox. It's not a filler. It's somewhere... In, it's, it's similar to a filler in that if you imagine that each chain of hyaluronic acid is spaghetti. I used this analogy before. Sorry, for those who've had it before. Each of those is a sponge for water. In dermal filler, it's cooked the spaghetti, it's stuck together, but it still draws water, but stays where it's supposed to be because it's been chemically stuck together. Profilo, on the other hand, the sponges of water, the spaghetti, just spread through the dermis once they're injected, but collecting water along the way. And that's how we get very dewy, plump, hydrated text to the skin through its injection. 
So two so treatments, that, that um, how many weeks apart do you say? Two treatments, 28 days apart. 28 days apart. So the first treatment, 60% of people see something straight away of just a slightly more plump, hydrated skin. And um, otherwise you see it after the second one when actually it takes the two to work together. Absolutely. Okay, that's Absolutely. kind of things. But what we're going to do, Jemima, is also take questions. So as we work yes. now, as Dr. Azim works, might as well here, um, um, you can ask any question about it. Um, and who it's for and things like that. A lot of people are just saying hello so far. So Hi. Radette says hello. I was here she for says, the hands. Love you, Trini. <laughs> I was here for the hands, and we're doing neck too. So you might have to step back a tiny bit to my yeah, sure. That's great. Just so perfect. Yeah. So um, just... you can get. Oh, sorry. No, Thank it's, you fine. So it's fine. It's fine. Good to see on there. Do you want to bring the camera around to that side? Because I need to turn slightly yeah. that way so yeah. you can keep looking That's at great. it while we're. Yes. Oh, so I'm going to do these in order of how I feel they are. Um, did they get? Actually, I'm just going to stop talking and stuff. Well, you can tell us what you're doing. <laughs> so, yeah, so talk us through. Injecting. Here's the first one. So these are called the five BA, the ten BAPs. There's five each side, and these injection points were designed for us to administer the profilo. Okay, you can see it's a very gentle rise in the skin. It bumps very slightly. Um, this product was not formulated with anaesthetic, um, and that's why I put numbing cream on just to take the edge off a fair bit. You don't really feel anything. It's like a tiny injection. Trini speaks too soon, she might find one. Here we go. Ah! Yeah. So, so what is this one. treatment called? This is Profilo. Okay, Profilo, Profilo. ladies. It's made in Italy. Um, it's not available in the States as yet, as I understand. Okay. And you can see these injections. So all of these are the uncooked spaghetti that are now going to spread through the dermis and connect and create a hydro lift. Just plump it up enough to give it a lift. So How are you doing, of, Trini? Doing fine. So if you think of hyaluronic acid that you might have in cream, this is an intense version of it going much deeper in the skin. And this is just available in London because my daughter Fragrances says, is it available in Canada? Um, this I will need to check. Okay. I don't believe so, but I will find out. Okay, how are we doing pain-wise? We're doing pain-wise, we're doing yeah, fine. Great. So Dr. Asim is at num what number of Motcom Street is Teresa tell me? We are six to seven. Six, seven Motcom Street. There are different people who do Profilo. I've come because I trust Teresa Tome to tell me who she felt was the best person doing it. So that's why I'm here, because I want to be with I, what I think will be the best person to see him to I'm going to that in a minute. <laughs> yeah, I mean, could, you know, but I just, I have a good feeling. Okay. Um, so yes, continuing okay. on. Okay, so this is a slight tender one. Mm -hmm. okay. Here's the last one on the face. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. your face done. Okay, and then do How you, you have to move the product around? No, you don't massage it, it, you don't touch it. It's going to do it all it. by itself. It's very clever. So it literally just trickles around under your dermis Absolutely. and um, yeah, okay. That's one. That was surprisingly yeah. quick actually. It was incredibly yeah. quick. The, yeah. The time consuming part of it is, is actually the numbing. Numbing green, yeah. You don't, you don't, some people don't. Tell me, don't um, Dr. Asim, what yes. you feel about, because I, we talk a lot about, I mean, there's a lot of ladies and we discuss about the difference between neck, face and hands. And I think this is a really interesting, this is in a way why I'm here, because I really look after my face and you all know I have a very strict skincare routine and I do microneedling every few days, very strong vitamin C's, I do peels at home. I use really good makeup products that make my skin look good. <laughs> Trini London. Um, but <laughs> neck and hands are something that only probably in my late 40s did I think, let me pay attention to them. Whereas I became vain about my face in my 30s of just taking more care. And also I had very bad acne, which went when I reached 30. So I, it was then easier for me to have a nice skincare routine. Whereas before it was always about combating my spots. Um, but my neck is a long neck and a, th a thin skinned neck. I have Scottish heritage, which has sometimes quite a thin skin. And my hands too, even though my body is a tiny bit more olive than my face, I feel that, so I'm really mm -hmm. interested for you to say how you think the neck skin is different and how, if you think this treatment works as well on the neck and if the effects, yeah. Well, I think, I think the skin on, on the neck and, and, and the hands is often neglected. You're not alone, um, not neglecting it, but it just, it, it, it ages at the same rate, obviously, but it just doesn't tend to get the amount of care that, that we tend to put in our faces. So it tends to mm -hmm. sort of slightly be a bit, uh, has, has a bit more sun damage and a bit mm -hmm. more age than the rest of, of the body. Um, but you know, I don't. I think that's partly, in fact, that I don't think anyone really thought about it and 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 gave it the attention that it needs. Um, you know, SPFing is very important, keeping the skin there protected. Um, and I do now use a lot of the retinols on my face, 
I will use on my skin. I've never used a neck cream because I don't believe in neck creams generally. Mm -hmm. I think they're just very hydrating, tons of glycerin, whatever. There aren't many that um, actually, I'd prefer to use a good retinol product on my neck and my face. Right. I mean, I think a, a good RHA, a, a good serum is very good as well. A very good high, hyaluronic acid serum is very, very good. Vitamin C and retinol is also important as well. Um, vitamin C being a good pan, uh, antioxidant. Um, I like to use um, a product on the neck um, called RHA serum. And on top of that, um, I layer something called advanced filler, mm -hmm. which is a very thick cream and it just keeps the skin really beautiful all day. Mm. Mm. Duchess um, Independent and a couple of ladies who may have missed the start of this video. Could you just quickly sum up what you're doing again, please? I'm with Dr. Asim and I'm having Profilo, which a lot of you ladies have asked about, and it's uh, injections of hyaluronic acid deeper into your skin than a hyaluronic acid um, topical um, cream or serum. And you put the product in, which Dr. Wasim is doing now, and it just spreads underneath your dermis. And you know, hyaluronic acid can absorb 3,000 times the amount of the water in your skin, so it keeps the, the hydration in your skin better. Great. And this treatment is two treatments, 28 days apart. And the first, after the first treatment, you might see already an improvement, but then that's the sort of groundwork for the second treatment to really help it kick in. Okay. Couldn't have said it better myself. Okay. <laughs> Unexpected Gifts says, is it hurting at all when the needle goes in? No, it's the needle. You know, I'm, I've got a quite high pain threshold for vanity. Yeah. She really does actually. Because <laughs> most people by now, even with the mummy cream, are, are, are mildly uncomfortable. Yeah, I think I would be. Well, yes. Yeah. I'm like anyone who has the disaster, not disaster, but the, <laughs> I have a lovely lady, Dr. Asim, called Dr. Julia Hunter, who right. is based out of LA and she has skin therapy, amazing, I mean the most active ingredients of any range I've tried, um, but she does treatments and she did this treatment on me which was so scary that the girl filming with oh, me wow. <laughs> was like nearly had a heart attack and my eye, it was CO2 and it was the CO2 which you put under the skin with a needle, so it was okay. just, and, and what happened is it, she was putting it in and and it's a re it was like the most painful process I've ever had, and I've done many things, because it was like, you know when you've had acupuncture and the needle goes into a spot where you really have pain, and it gives that numbness to the nerve that's painful. Mm -hmm. So it was like that, and then it just got more intense and more intense, and then my eye, because there was so much air, you know, <laughs> CO2, oxygen, yeah. inside my skin, that it literally blew up like a frog. And people, <laughs> people on the line were saying... They were like, Trini, stop! What's happened to you? And I, and I, and I, and I saw, like, Jemima said, today, but this girl was filming me, and I saw her face, and I just thought, I, this is what I'm, I don't want to look no. in the mirror. And then I, um, and then by the time I finished filming, it had all calmed down, but somebody was editing it at Trini London, and then we were going to put it up, and we all agreed it was too horrific to show. And because then we started filming the people who were editing it and or watching it for the first time yeah. in the office, and they were going <laughs> like this. So I thought, no, I can't. Do That's why that. you need to watch the live, ladies. Yeah, you have to watch the live. That's the only time you really get the real. You know, by the time yes. we edit, we've t sort of maybe taken out gruesome bits <laughs> that are not. For, it should be like X-rated, but. It was actually a very simple treatment of just putting a little oxygen underneath okay. your skin, but it was it looked <laughs> dreadful. Oh, you can put my hands. Look at my hands now. And, and questions, we can ask questions. Can Gucci ask questions. and Gorgeous says, I was told it only works if you're hydrated. How true is this? Oh, okay. Let's talk about how much water you drink versus how well injected hyaluronic acid works. Good question. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the question, sorry, the question so was... The question I, is if this, that if you don't <clears throat> hydrate well, you don't drink lots of water, right. Does this treatment work as well? Absolutely, because it because it will absorb what water is there. Yes, but obviously, you, the more hydrated you are, the better the result will be. It's not going to not work. Okay, but if you drink more water, the treatment will work better. I like. I'm very bad drinking water at the moment. I'm too. I'm terrible. Okay. Um, you should say that. <laughs> it's only because he has Lebanese skin, which is like. I mean, Lebanese skin actually, funny enough, can be not always olive, and it can be very northern. Northern European in a way, because there's a lot of guys and who went down and, and met mm. those Lebanese mm -hmm. ladies. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know the amount naughty, of you naughty know, great grandparents. I tell you, of all the Middle East, Lebanese people have the most beautiful eyes because there's so many naughty great grandparents who come down from Northern <laughs> Europe, and they always have you know you've got a lot of blue and green eyes, which you don't get often. This is true. In yeah. other in other Middle Eastern countries, Syria, oddly. Oh yes, absolutely. Yeah. 
Um, people are commenting, I watched that live, Trini. I was too scared to oh, watch the others. Yes, my God. It really <laughs> okay. was. Um, the saffron flower says, how long does this treatment last? So the results will last from four to six months. Okay, okay great. So it is something I think, really twice a year we were talking about. Yeah, absolutely. I sort of, I, the regime might suggest is um, November, December, and that will cover you for the Christmas party season and way into the early part of the next year. Um, and then June, July for the summer. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm hoping the company that makes this, I'm hoping this is sort of iPhone 1 and that they will sort of have an <laughs> iPhone 5 or 6 or 7. Or so 11. It's going to last longer, it's last longer yeah. and longer yeah. and longer. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because I think also, One hope. this is the other thing, Dr. Seen, that I'll have a whole mixture of people watching. Some people will have a vanity and a budget that will allow them to come and see you directly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And some women won't. So I also want to get a sense from you because you will have a certain fee and mm -hmm. other people, but if we did a from and to, right. like what's the least you'll probably pay for this treatment and what could be the most one might pay for this treatment? How many does it? Absolutely. Can you give an indication? Yeah, I think, I think that Profilo injections tend to start at around, around the 350 mark and I've yeah. seen them go as much as um, sort of 800. Okay. Um, depending, depending on the practitioner. Yeah, depending on the experience of the yeah. practitioner, right. where, where, where you are. Okay. okay, that's good to know. Yeah. Just it's something like, because you know, could equate it with, you know, some people might get drawn in and think, oh, I'm going to buy that really expensive cream for a hundred pounds. All right. And how much can that cream work compared to getting tretinon from your doctor <laughs> as a nice retinol treatment or buying into the joy of the marketing sheet on a, you know, I think we have the fortune to live in a time when there's more and more active ingredients in products that are sold over the counter, but still for long-term change in your skin, you need a prescription. You know, we've discussed this before, but retinols over the counter are great and, and used often and regularly and doing with a bit of microneedling so they channel down your skin deeper. They are much more active than things that were available on the market 20 or 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, but still, the investment you might decide to put in, let's say you say to yourself, I kind of have a vague amount in the year that I feel comfortable spending on my vanity. Or on, I, I mean, we call it vanity, but for me, it's, I'm 55, I want to look in the mirror and I want to feel, I feel fresh, full of energy, ready for anything. And a part of that is what clothes I wear, a part of that is treatments I do, a part of that is my skincare regime, and a part of that is my makeup. And I kind of, in my head, think, what do I want to spend on those different areas? Um, and that's, and, you know, some people might be very low maintenance, do this twice a year, but not spend much on, you know, buy the ordinary skincare products, you mm -hmm. know? Um, and other people might spend quite a lot of money at duty free on a holiday on creams they don't need. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, you know, you you have to work out what you feel benefits are, and and you know, I think it's. Yeah. Pear Jobs fifty four has a good question. She says, "Is this best before or after Botox?" I think. Um, I would gen generally between different types of aesthetic treatments. I tend to say give it three to four weeks. Um, Botox can take up to two two weeks to really show its full effect. But either way, sometimes if you have them too close together, you don't really know what benefited your skin and yeah. so you would end up yeah. having all these treatments done, but actually it was one rather than the other. So I'd space in the past, so you know, what caused what, um, but also as a rule of thumb, needs sort of three weeks minimum between treatments. Okay. Great. Okay. Good. That's it. All right. Fabulous. So we've done one hand. Yeah. And now we're going to do the other. Should we so have a look see, at I've this got hand? Bumps, bumps on the hand. On my hand. Like I look yeah. like a little, I look like a foreign, uh, <laughs> like some... You know, it's like a horror movie and some little animals are going to pop out my thing. But I'm okay with that because if my hand... Can I just say, I'm wearing nail polish first. I'm not perfectly the right colour. I want something really neutral. But I do have an awareness that I use my hands a lot when I'm filming and I'm showing you how to do makeup. My hands are really in the foreground and I want that always to be an equal relationship. So I'm really interested to see. I nearly wanted... Doctor, I seem to do one hand and not the other. I, well, I was actually going to say that because I might obviously catch up with you on Monday and we can have a look. Why don't we do that? So, I think it's a good idea. And I'll do, do one hand. hand. So if I if I start doing films and I'm just using one hand, you'll know why. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Carolyn Cockburn says you're in excellent hands, Trini. Oh, so, <laughs> I mean, it's true. Hands. Thank you. <laughs> well, I've got to say, am I done? Now? How's that? Yeah. Because I yeah. So we're doing a little experiment, aren't we? Yeah. So we're doing a little experiment. Um, yeah, so just, one hand just, one hand. Okay. just having Wait, one hand you? done yeah. and not the other, which would yeah. be great. On my neck, I've done little other little bumps there. Yeah, you should have a mirror, mirror to see. Yeah, I did have oh, the mirror somewhere, mirror. like really close. Sorry, I don't want to show mine. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
It's um, fine. <laughs> can I have a mirror? Was I sitting on the mirror? No, that's um, not the mirror. There was a mirror and I had it. One, yeah, but that's fine. Is it somewhere under your trousers? Yeah, so I've got here, you can see I had one here, one here, one there, one there, one there, one there. So I look a little bit bumpy. Mm -hmm. um, and, this, and, and this is the worst of it. This is the worst of it. It will only it will only go down from this. And then there are a bit too. Do and how see? does it go down? Does it just Stop spreading, naturally spreading down spread? Down. Yeah. 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 If you okay. take a photo in about two hours, half of them have gone completely. Yeah. So we'll oh. take a photo now. Yeah. And hopefully on the blog post, I'll show you like now, then in three hours, and so you can just see. Yeah. Um, my skin usually doesn't react badly. Like when I do Botox, I don't get anything actually. So this is just because there's this hyaluronic um, acid that's going to just spread mm. through my skin now. So I found that really interesting and I'm so excited to see the result because it is something that was on my mind and I was really excited when Teresa Tommy said, come along to Market Street because Dr. Asim has just joined and um, so you can find him here. We'll leave the details on the blog, but if you're desperate now, it's, yeah. uh, I mean, if you're desperate, go to Dr. Asim <laughs> and it's at Teresa Tommy in Market Street. Um, okay. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's like simple treatment, took us half an hour. Absolutely. It was a numbing treatment that took 10 minutes and then it was really quick. And, um, and we'll post it up. Yeah, Jemima will edit it quickly and we'll yeah. post it up next week. Great. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.